Oh, yes, yes. I Look call it the memory zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. <gasps> wow. The memory zone, guys. Look at that. Beautiful. You see, hey. Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was solid with a cheap Xbox port? Remember hey. back in October of 2013, when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. Oh, the waste. I remember those boxes. They will sell you the Windows thing on those boxes, and it was just like a code. Where you're like, oh my goodness, it's a box. Ah, wow. <laughs> I don't actually remember if it was like just uh, an empty box, but it was like, I don't know. I remember seeing them. And just think of this thing, but with Windows in it. I, I'll, I'll pull it up and, and. Oh, wow. Audience Award to Stanley Parable. All right, to, uh, 2000, 2013, when the Stanley Parable was released. Voila. How, I, I was pretty young in 2013. It's actually... Whoa. Our kids, our first kids, my first cars, they released the Stanley Parable. Wow. Who the hell is that? I remember. I remember mind control, the Stanley Parable. Hmm, beautiful. Oh, there's another. This. Wait, what? What does it say? The British Academy of Film and Television. Stanley Parable. Stanley Parable. Stanley Parable. Stanley Parable. Stanley Parable. Good times. Wow. Oh. Wow. Smile because it happened. Our first dollar. Do you remember? Don't play for five years. Oh, it's impossible to get this achievement. Beta, work in progress. Not many. All those awards. New video game. Wow. You guys hear that? It's a new video game. It was in the newspapers of the LA Times, Los Angeles Times, the New York Times, the San Diego Times, the, <laughs> the Mexico Times. Oh, he died there. I remember that. Do you remember that? Wow. The piano. Let me play the piano. Oh. And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim, it was Persona 3, it was all of them, and now it's nothing. It's no it's game nothing. at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. What? No, it's not. I give him a 10 out of 10, so it must be a good review. Oh, look at all those pictures. A little birdie. He got the birdie. Pew, pew. Oh. Oh, a little birdie. What do we have here? And that's supposed to be us, guys. That's where I'm wearing a, a very formal outfit because we're in the office. On off. What is this? Interesting. Oh, this must be like actual beta stuff. Well, before we... Oh, Gilberti. Before we go on, let me check. 
Haha. -ha. Well, I kind of want a house like this. So cool. Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games, and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need <laughs> new content. All they had to do was transport it in pristine condition along to the Xbox. Boom. Done. Done. And they couldn't even do that. Couldn't resist the urge to go meddling with a beloved franchise. Carpet textures. Wow. We got gray, red, and meeting. That's a beautiful color. What the hell? I can't go in there? The Sears room. Pew pew. <sighs> These were simpler times, Stanley. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Wait, mm -hmm. hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. Oh, What's what this? the hell? What's down here? What oh, is this? No. Oh, Guys! No, Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Pressurized Gas, the extremely popular online storefront for computer games. I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's been collecting down here. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? Oh! Honestly, how rude! I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, with his what? humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! I'm not trying to be funny. I'm trying wow. to make a serious work of art. I suppose hey. I can write up a handful of gags to insert into Stop. the Stanley Parable. But the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. I'm funny. No, you're funny, Night Raider. I, I defend you. You're a good man. Pressure eggs, gas. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, mm, 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 uh -huh. someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley, hey. I'm not preachy, ah. am I? You're not preachy? I'm preachy. Honestly, Guys, you think he's preachy? Goodness. This is actually My quite God. shocking for me. Yeah. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it, well, I always thought it did. But maybe it wasn't. Dear, what an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure. Like I let these people down. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered.